during the nisha uh, period which I, i was discussing uh, in the previous class and that uh, this is a very interesting point is that the, you know that uh, french words uh, entered into the english language and it started uh, in the 11th century but those words are actually i told you that are uh, from latin because uh, french is also a variety of latin uh, so now the english people have come come to know from the from the from the from their own education system and their in sort of when they are learning that uh, these words actually originally been derived from the uh, latin language uh, and they and they, came, they have come to know about the root of the of these words and the moment they came to know about the uh, root of the word root words and they tried to modify their existing words which have been borrowed from french Uh, according to their original latin word suppose for example verdict this word has borrowed uh, by english people uh, in the middle east period from french but they came to know that the, uh, this word is uh, originally uh, verdict and they again uh, modified it and they introduced c or the I mean ca in and then they have now they now use the word verdict similarly avis to advise then april then april then uh, date d e t t is our french word original middle english period and it's become d e b t debt d o u t e doubt now it's called d o u b t then eagle and equal so this is very interesting point and this is basically is a, in, this part is basically considered very important for your short questions also so uh, this is a, another aspect of the thin friends and um, let me tell you that this is middle renaissance period which is also considered as a revival of learning and uh, you may be asked the question that uh, the influence of latin during the revival of learning and then uh, we come to know the century wise because uh, the huge number of words entered in the english language and this is uh, from latin so in the 17th century we find the words like um, premium Uh, specimen, uh, focus, uh, can uh, uh, yes, uh, census, uh, arena, veto, uh, curriculum, formula. Uh, so look at the, those words. These words basically related to academics, related to science, and related to literature. So learning basically. Now the, in the 18th century, we find the words like nucleus, propaganda, ultimatum. Uh, ultimatum insomnia you show that um, uh, insomnia and then uh, prospectus in the 19th century you find the words like sanatorium uh, consensus moratorium referendum ego so all these words basically look at the point is that new kind of uh, education system new kind of psychology the psychology and these are these areas are covered and latin influence also in a similar way like the french uh, it does not stops uh, only uh, by only uh, uh, you can say that um, uh, providing the words uh, also is basically uh, provided the suffixes for the formation of the new words suffixes and prefixes and you know the point that t i o n is basically latin suffix i a n latin suffix um, uh, so ik is a latin suffix uh, ik ikal ikali and then similarly you find the prefixes like d pro pre re and look at the point is that dethrone throne to dethrone pre to pre raphaelite pro pro indian so these are the words basically uh, reorganize r e re reorganize these words basically have been formed uh, by the addition of the uh, prefixes with the word existing words another point is that uh, this is because of the latin influence uh, english language uh, You, you will find the most of the words are high sounding and uh, miltonian like epical style a miltonian style um, basically milton also borrowed so many words um, took them from latin so this this style is basically miltonian epical style and at the same time due to latin influence we find that the english sentences uh, formation also underwent changes nominative absolute so is is basically the feature of um, is a contribution of uh, latin influence nominative also means the sun comma having set uh, we went home the sun having set is basically uh, called um, uh, nominative absolute 
So similarly, uh, relative clause structure. And the more boy who came here, uh, this is structure is also uh, due to Latin influence. And another part is important that there so many words do not have the uh, original, uh, you can say, uh, do not have the adjective form. For example, mouth does not have any adjective form. Originally, you cannot derive it. So mouth, uh, the oral, and this oral is Latin. So uh, when uh, English people cannot create. Uh, but does not create, cannot create uh, adverbs, uh, adjectives uh, from the root, and they uh, they take that from Latin. They borrow it from Latin. So nose, nasal, eye, ocular, uh, then uh, eye, ocular, sun, solar, mind, mental, man, um, uh, man, human, lettered, epistolary, uh, school, scholar, uh, uh, yeah, scholastic, and then moon, lunar. Uh, then house, uh, house, domestic. Uh, you can find the words the book, literal. So in this way, we find that uh, this is the end of uh, Latin friends. From this, uh, you can prepare uh, different kinds of short questions, different kinds of, uh, of um, uh, short notes. But um, for this, um, you listen to these uh, these uh, lectures, and so that you can understand the point properly and uh, prepare your note uh, following your uh, book also. Thank you. Uh, good night.